Seattle steam was burnt coal, heavy oil, natural gas, light oil, and even for a period of time we used electricity to make the steam. Seattle Steam is faced with many challenges in the future. The high cost of fossil fuels drive our product cost, and the higher fossil fuels got or fuel costs get, the more difficult it is for us to compete in a, in a marketplace where buildings can become more and more efficient. And while we have a central plant and it works efficiently, uh, we still have challenges in improving it because it's there today, it exists. For me, it came down to the long-term health of the company. As going forward, we're going to need to be able to better compete in this energy environment and the wood-fired boiler by burning, burning wood instead of gas is going to give us a lot better competitive edge. Two hundred tons a day are going to burn. So that's what the silo holds. So they'll be taking that much in every night, burning it, and refilling it before it runs out. Now there's very capable people doing the work. It's just in a difficult, difficult location. Burning wood fuel is a benefit to Seattle Steam because it will take our large cost of fuel bill and reduce it. Wood fuel will be cheaper than natural gas. That allows us to compete more into the workplace. That is, more buildings will seek out our product if it's lower priced. And we intend to pass that benefit through to our clients. On the other hand, the money that's spent on fuel is spent locally. So instead of Seattle Steam sending millions of dollars to Canada to buy natural gas, it's essentially putting it into our very own community. It'll create jobs, it'll spin off into the community, and the $5 million that we'll spend annually to buy wood will result in a $20 million net benefit into the community after it spins into the retail sector through payment of salaries and so on. Burning urban waste wood has many impacts. First off, it's considered a renewable energy, which means its net carbon production is zero. That will have the result of reducing Seattle Steam's carbon footprint by more than 60%, which is an enormous step in the early days of carbon recognition. Uh, that would move us to beyond where the state's goal is for 2050, and we will achieve that in 2009. Seattle Steam can't stop just by switching to burn wood. Certainly it's enough today. Certainly the steps that we have to take in the future have to be there. In terms of reducing carbon footprint either uh, as well, but also reducing the cost to the customer, 
is to look for, again, alternative fuel stocks. One of the most promising is to burn glycerol instead of the remaining natural gas. Up to now, the technology to burn that has been, has been limited. But just now, the technology has been patented. The experimental period is underway. Industrialization of the concept is underway. And we expect within five years that it will be commercially available. If that's the case, we have every expectation that our carbon footprint will approach zero by 2020.